Also be a bilingual video. También esto será un video bilingüe. Um, uh, I'm trying to put up some videos um, to serve as kind of two functions, uh, as tutorials for how to play certain songs and sing certain songs that are ceremonial, ritual um, songs, um, and also um, to share how uh, these songs could be used for um, clinical therapy settings. Um, estoy compartiendo estos videos uh, para dos funciones. Uno es como un tutorial cómo tocar y cantar ciertos cantos um, que son ceremoniales, um, rituales. Uh, y dos, um, que enseñar un poco cómo estos cantos se pueden utilizar uh, en un ambiente clínico, cómo uh, utilizarlo para sesiones de psicoterapia. So, um, I'm going to first go over the concept of the songs, uh, of the song, and then the second part will be how to play and sing the song. <clears throat> Primero voy a repasar un poco de el concepto del canto. Um, y luego la segunda parte va a ser um, cómo tocar las diferentes partes y cantar. So, um, I noticed that there's one YouTube video with this song on and there's a little, quite a bit of controversy, I think, um, with some of the concepts. Um, yo he visto este canto en YouTube y he visto que hay un poco de controversia, ¿no? De uh, la intención de este canto. And I think some of the controversy lies in that last verse that says, uh, Yo mismo soy mi propio enemigo y me tengo que vencer. Um, la controversia viene en eh, la último verso que dice, uh, Yo soy mi propio enemigo y me tengo que vencer. So the translation to that is, I am my own uh, enemy. And I need to overcome myself. So I noticed that on the YouTube videos that there was uh, people mentioning that that is like a new age kind of a concept and is not something um, that our ancestors um, 
was in their frame of thought. Um, este, yo vi que por alguien puso conceptos, ¿no? De ese concepto de vencer a sí mismo, ser propio enemigo, no es un concepto autóctono de, de, de los ancestros mexicanos. Um, and I don't know, it was pretty interesting to see the, the dialogue there. Um, not everyone was in agreement with that. Um, uh, era interesante ver, ¿no? El, los comentarios, el diálogo que, que de ese concepto. No todos estaban de acuerdo y, um, este, pues yo en sí mismo, um, yo creo que sí veo uh, conceptos donde no, nos tenemos que um, tratar de uh, conocernos y tratar de vencer ciertos no debilidades o características que nos pueden a veces vencer o, o si no tenemos cuidado pues nos um, nos vienen a, a hacer el tropiezo en nuestro camino y tenemos que estar al pendiente y por eso el concepto no del es el espejo humeante no una alerta porque cuando el concepto no de que cuando alguien es huele humo pues o ve humo, luego luego es una alerta, oh, ¿qué pasa? No, algo, al, algo pasa. Entonces es como un alerta, algo está, necesita atención. ¿no? Y ese es el reflejo también de Scala y Poca. Um, so, um, yeah, I, in the concept of uh, prequel, I mean, I'm not sure if I totally agree with it because um, I, I, I do see different areas, you know, in, in, the prequel Bimok thought where we do need to um, have certain areas of our lives um, under alert and awareness, especially characteristics of our, you know, of us that if we don't are not attentive to can kind of um, make us go astray in a path that maybe is not ideal for us. So that concept of the smoke, right, the smoking mirror. So this the, the name of the song is Tezcat Lipoca, the smoking mirror. Um, and whenever you, you think of the concept of smoke, right, you could either smell it or you see the smoke and you know that something's going on. You have to tend to something. So that's the concept, right, to be aware, um, self-aware of ourselves. So um, this song, having that intent of self-reflection, of the conscious, no? So Tezcatlipoca is our consciousness. You know, sometimes even though people say, oh, I didn't know, or I, I wasn't sure, usually we have this innate consciousness that tells us between right and wrong, if we're on the right path or not. Um, and we need to be aware of that consciousness. Um, tenemos nuestra conciencia, no? Nuestro Tezcatlipoca de que Sí, tenemos este sentir instinto entre el bien y el mal, ¿no? Y debemos de uh, ejercer y es tener ese sentir de, no, de nosotros um, consciente de que tenemos que estar consciente de uh, nuestro camino, um, de cómo vamos en la vida, uh, cómo somos esposo, cómo somos hijos. Como se hace, somos empleados, ¿no? Como seamos con nosotros mismos, ¿no? Tratar bien a nosotros mismos, porque a veces tratamos bien a todo el mundo, pero a nosotros nos maltratamos más que a todos, ¿no? So that concept of being able to um, be conscientious of uh, taking care of, you know, oneself, being a good husband, being a good son, um, being a good worker for, for you know, um, your employer, uh, but especially being good to yourself, because oftentimes um, we also we often find clients who they're very nice to everyone else, but they're very uh, mean and demeaning to themselves. So sometimes, you know, we need to um, be conscientious about how we treat ourselves. Tenemos que tomar conciencia de cómo tratamos a sí mismo. <clears throat> so, just a translation. El canto, pues, lo repasé en 
en, um, en español y náhuatl, pero en inglés quiero traducir, ¿no? Um, the hey, ah, hey, ah, hey, ah, hey. That's pretty much a chant, right? There's no real meaning behind that. It's just a chant. And then the first verse is No ne waltesca popoca imani ashkan ninkan ninkan mani. Um, basically, the translation is there's smoke apparent in I need to be attentive because my mirror is smoking um, in the here and now. It's not the literal translation. Um, uh, I need to go back and read my notes. I remember um, our teacher also broke down the song. There's a lot of other verses that are in Nahuatl. Um, I didn't sing them and I, hopefully I can maybe one day um, add them, but there's a lot more verses to this song. And um, uh, let's see, I'm gonna go over now um, the music part. So basically the, the music, um, it could be a pretty constant drum beat. Um, you, could, you could even add the rattle and it's like the drumstick and it adds a little bit more flavor. There's also the flute piece where um, another reason why I'm, I'm hoping to put up these videos is because I know that when I learn music, um, especially music that's not typical like this that you see, um, it, it takes a while to kind of figure out maybe the um, how to play certain things. But um, this is kind of my own version of how I play the melody to this song, and um, this is a, a flute in the Native American um, style tuning. Um, I think I'm in like a, a little sharp of an A minor, I'm not too sure, don't quote me on it. Um, but these are flutes that I make in the style of Javier Quijas y Chayot, uh, my Demastiani, my teacher, que uh, descanse en paz, may he rest in peace. Um, so um, Javier Quijas y Chayo made multiple flutes like this where he tuned them with certain tunings and this is an example of how he showed me um, as an apprentice of his. Um, so I'm going to go over the fingering patterns here for the Tezcatlipoca song. So notice how here I'm covering all the holes as if I were positioned to play the root note. The first note is an open note. Then I'm covering the middle three. See, I I have five holes here. I don't have a sixth hole. So if you had the sixth hole Native American flute, you would cover that sixth hole. So I'm covering all the holes except on the two outer edges, okay, for the second note. Notice this. So that's open, just the outer ones, back to open, Kind of be like a little chirp there. Eso puede ser como un, un chiflar. So, abierto. Luego, tapar los... Dejar nomás los 
dos afuera. Y, and then it's an overblow too. Overblow. Because if you do it soft, it's... No. A lot of pressure there. Mucha presión. Two there. Dos ahí. Back down there. And the second part. Dos veces, two times. So I'm going to do that all together. Now real slow. Ahora bien despacio. So that's the flute part and the vocals um, you could sing this song at different tempos you could sing it at kind of a faster pace a little bit faster than I was doing it it might be like kind of jovial Okay, or you could sing it in more of like a slow ceremonial type way. So it just kind of depends. You could set the mood, you could set the tone of the song, you could sing it in different tempos. Um, tú puedes cantar este canto en diferentes ritmos, tiempos, ¿no? Lo puedes hacer despacito, así bien ceremonial. O así más rápido, más como gozoso. Um, entonces, este es un ejemplo. Ojalá que uh, haya sido de ayuda para repasar um, estos este, detalles del canto. Hopefully this was helpful to go over a couple of the details of the song. Um, and hope, really my, my true intent and purpose is that um, my teacher, Javier Quijas de Chayo, um, commended his students, his apprentices, to, um, to continue teaching and, and um, uh, sharing this, the beauty and the wisdom and knowledge of our ancestors, in particular with, in regards to our music. So um, I'm trying to do what I can to um, do my part. Uh, estoy este, también tratando de seguir el... <clears throat> uh, el pedir del, de mi maestro, a Javier Quijas y Shayo, que a sus alumnos um, les pidió pues, que sigamos compartiendo ¿no? el conocimiento, la belleza, la nobleza de, de nuestra cultura, en particularmente en lo que es nuestra música. Um, entonces, este, ojalá que esto ha sido de ayuda para todos ustedes. Many blessings. Oh, my goodness.